shepherd in John chapter 10 on the, bringing us understanding how the good shepherd lays down his life the sacrifice on several levels a shepherd he sacrifices for the sheep but Jesus is not just sacrifice on several levels he sacrifices his life Jesus is the ultimate shepherd he is the chief shepherd so that every pastor at any level general overseer general superintendent senior pastor whatever the nomenclature but shepherds god's people we are all under shepherds whether we pastor thousands jesus we pastor millions of pastors with millions of the members of the flock jesus is the chief shepherd when you study in first john first peter chapter 5 from verse 1 to verse 4 it begins to give us standards on how um, pastors should function so that when the chief shall come he is the rewarder he has a compensation plan he has a reward system for those who shepherd maybe you shepherd the fellowship maybe you shepherd the family you shepherd the local church you shepherd a body of believers at any level jesus has a reward system for those who shepherd according to the divine order so you see Jesus there as the chief shepherd. Also, when you read in Hebrews chapter 13 from verse 20 to verse 21, Jesus is introduced there as the great shepherd of the flock. So chief shepherd, great shepherd of the flock, good shepherd, those are dimensions in Jesus. No pastor, no matter how anointed, no matter how insightful, no matter the accuracy of teaching, the depth of teaching, compares with Jesus as the shepherd. But you see tonight, Jesus also we need to recognize is the king, is the reigning king. Jesus is the reason, savior. Jesus, for example, is God. He's not just a um, son of God. He's not just a part, I mean, a part of God. Jesus is God because you have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Jesus is God. That's the trinity operation of God, three operating as one. As each of these things, I can dwell on them for an hour each to give us further insights on them. But I just needed to mention some of those things here tonight. So that you recognize the diverse dimensions of what makes Jesus, Jesus, the revelation of Christ is so important to this generation of the church. Where ours is a hasty generation. Ours is a fast dash, fast reward system generation. And because of that, we clean things only on the surface. We don't dig deep to get the depths of the matter. We receive things only on surface level. And if you are going to go far, if you are going to gain in stature, if you are going to gain in depth, the Bible makes us to understand out of, uh, of the remnant that escaped out of Judah. When you read in 1 Kings chapter 19 from verse 20, he said the remnant that escaped out of Judah will first of all take root downward. You need to have depth. You need to grow in depth. That dimension of your life that is not visible, that is not seen. He said the remnant that escaped out of Judah will first of all take root downward. That dimension of your life where you are growing but nobody knows. We are growing, you are gaining in stature, you are finding divine nutrients on that surface level. Nobody is aware because in the fullness of time, the things you contact surface on the ground will begin to become visible. The root that is, I mean, the, the, the remnant that has escaped out of Judah will first of all bear root downwards. Somebody say downwards. Say louder, downwards. You need to know there is a process to your Christian life. Don't be a flash in the pan Christian. Don't be a meteor, a flying star, a shining is for a moment and goes into oblivion for the majority of the time. You need to bear root downwards. You need to gain in stature. You need to find your bearing in God. And that dimension of your life, most people will not see that face of your life. The New Testament parallel to that is when Jesus started to share with us that you are the salt of the earth. And then he went on to say you are the light of the world. In the salt dimension, you don't see that will be effective. As long as salt will be effective, you don't see it. And that is a dimension of your life as a believer. That there are things about your life that bring function out of your life, productivity out of your life. But they are not, they are not visible. You intercede, yokes are destroyed. You intercede, righteousness begins to envelope the campus of Federal University of Technology of Oweri. Nobody knows about it. But you are paying great prizes in the place of praying and fasting. That Those are dimensions that are subsurface. Nobody sees it, but the impact is felt all over the place. Salt must be felt. Salt must not be seen if it will be effective. And then it goes on to talk about light dimension. Before you desire visibility, before you desire recognition, before you desire that people will know you and talk about you, there must be segments of your life 
faces of your life that you are not visible yet impactful reckon with in heaven and then he said you are the light of the world light that is not seen is not effective lights that cannot be seen to guide people in the way in the night time in the i mean when the night time comes such light is not effective likewise you know taking us back to that seed that has escaped out of judah the remnant that has escaped out of judah he said must first of all bear root downwards and then they must bear take roots downwards and then bear fruit upwards we are eager to bear fruit but it doesn't always happen that way where are your roots do you have shallow roots you will become like the, the category of people who receive the word of God. Jesus giving the parable of the sower. And he said because they grew on a rocky terrain. Their roots did not travel far. And when people trump about. Not just what people advise. That is what every single believer is given a copy of the Bible. Whether in digital form or in printed form. Every believer has a copy of the Bible. Should have a copy of the Bible. And pay the price. To search through the scriptures. Jesus said in John chapter 5. You read from verse 18 verse 19. He says search the scriptures. In them you think you have eternal life. But they are the very words that speak about me. The revelation of Christ. As the son of the living God. The revelation of Christ. As the son coming king. The revelation of Christ. As the prophet. The revelation of Christ. As the, as the miracle worker. The revelation of Christ. Let me take us further a little bit here tonight. So I just dwell on two or three dimensions i want us to come to a comprehension of the revelation of christ as the son of the living god the revelation of christ as the son of the living god and how do we establish that from the word of god when jesus started his earthly ministry he came across john the baptist the one whom he himself had baptized when john was mother's womb the bible tells us when you read in scriptures in Luke chapter 1 that while Elizabeth was pregnant for John and the news was taken by an angel to Mary even your cousin your relation um, Elizabeth is now six months with her who was called barren you remember that in Luke chapter 1 hello friends and so what did Mary do to confirm what the angel said the Mary traveled uphill to the up I mean hill country and met with Elizabeth the Bible says the moment she greeted Elizabeth the baby in Elizabeth's womb for the first time in recorded scripture leapt for joy and Elizabeth the mother came under that anointing and started to prophesy so you will see before Jesus could be baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist Jesus in the womb had baptized John in the spirit and so he came in Matthew chapter 3. We we'll read from verse 15, verse 17. And Jesus came to be baptized. And when John the Baptist saw him, because he had revealed him in John chapter 1, from verse 29 to verse 31, um, to verse 33, he said, I never knew him. But the same who sent me to baptize with water says, Upon whosoever you see the Spirit descending and remaining, the same is he who baptizes in the Holy Ghost. And I have seen and I testify, this is the Lamb of God. Who takes away the sins of the world. So when he saw Jesus coming to be baptized. He said I need to be baptized of you. And Jesus said allow it to be so for now. To fulfill all righteousness. Students, young people, Christians. But your believers on this campus. I need to challenge us. One of the major features in your curric in curriculum as a believer. Towards reigning in life. You must learn to fulfill all righteousness. Your righteousness must surpass that of the Pharisees. Your righteousness must not just be self-righteousness or righteousness according to the law, but the righteousness imputed by Jesus Christ. He who knew no sin was made sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So you will see as he was baptized and he, as he was coming out of that river in Matthew chapter 3 and verse 17, it said, suddenly the heavens opened and a voice sounded from heaven and said, this is my beloved son this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and you will see the holy trinity coming into operation in tangible occasion the holy spirit came in the form of the dove and lighted upon jesus and then jesus a second part of the trinity and then the voice in heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased if someone calls you his son 
Who is that person likely to be? Hello, friends. If someone calls you his son, who is that person likely to be? The father. So you see the relationship there. So he said, and the father validated him. It was not a church or denomination or even John the Baptist. The father validated, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And you go on again, you took it further. When he went to the Mount of Transfiguration, the Bible reports in Luke chapter 9, as he was praying, his visage was changed. His robe was changed, became so glowing and so glorious. I think that's actually Luke chapter 8. And you, you were meant to understand when you read actually the report in Matthew chapter 17 and verse 5. He says, the voice sounded again from heaven. And he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And then he added to what he had spoken before at the beginning of his public function in Matthew chapter 3 at the baptism in Jordan. In that place he said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Full stop. Oh, in a place having paid the price walked in righteous walked in obedience walked in long suffering he had been tested over a period of time and now the father escalated the validation on the this is my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased comma hear ye him that is this has been tested and has been reliable reliable compass is reliable guide is reliable standard a reliable person you can look at you can look to and find direction for your life which is why i want us to understand in the revelation of jesus as the son of god one of the reasons why you need to comprehend that revelation is son of god he shows us how we can relate to god in the family of god as our father there are a body of believers who cannot imagine almighty god the creator of the heavens and the earth who created the expanse of the oceans and the seas who created the deserts and the land and the shrubs and the forest and created over 8 billion people on the face of the earth today can be related to as father they cannot comprehend it they believe it is arrogance they believe it, we are backsliding they believe it's an abomination that is why jesus came to grant us the revelation that you can relate to the creator of the heavens and the earth as your father somebody say to yourself god is my father he is not just creator he is my father so in comprehending the revelation of jesus as the son of god he came to show us how we can come to god the creator of the heavens and the earth the righteous judge the mighty god but that in our own case we can relate to him as our father you will see jesus when you read the report of jesus according to john the gospel according to john throughout the gospel of john you will see jesus making reference regularly to god as my father my father walketh hitherto and i walk my father walketh hitherto and i walk so you will see throughout the gospel of john the emphasis was on the relationship of god with jesus as the father of so it's, it, it, you will see that many times in John, my father, my father, my father. But it's Matthew, another recorder and reporter of the gospel, Jesus, according to Matthew. Jesus changed the dynamics. Jesus, by the enabling of the Holy Spirit, gave a different emphasis to Matthew. And so you will see Matthew referring to um, God as the father of Jesus. was now talking about God as our heavenly father he said in this manner you will pray our father who art in heaven collective jesus and every one of us and then you will read in matthew chapter 6 when he talked about giving he talked about fasting he talked about praying he said when you do these things in secret in the secret place your father will reward you in the open so you see the emphasis shifting from my father in john to your father in matthew showing us that everyone who comes to god through jesus christ everyone who is genuinely born again can have a relationship with god as his or her father may you come to the revelation of christ in your life in your work in your academics in your destiny in your career in your relationships may you come to the revelation of jesus as the son of the living god let me leave that there because i want to have some time to pray for people tonight 
on a second level for emphasis tonight we need to come to the revelation of Christ as the anointed one of God the revelation of Jesus as the Christ the Greek or the Messiah the Hebrew Hebrew was used to write the Old Testament Greek was used to write the New Testament we all every Christian regardless of your age in the faith regardless of your age in life we need to come to the revelation of Jesus as the Christ the Messiah and to capture that from scripture you will see how in you will see that Jesus was not born as the Christ Jesus surname is not the Christ that Christ is function Christ is a role he came to carry out that Christ means the anointed one of God with his anointing and you will see in Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and amongst other things why you need to comprehend the revelation of Jesus as the Christ the Messiah you will see that the power he was in was not the power of culture culture did not confer that power on him the scholarship did not confer that supernatural power on him the environment did not confer that power on him and skills and, 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 and uh, artisanship as a carpenter did not confer that power on him he said how God anointed so the source of his anointed what anointing was not called was not environment was not school was not craftsmanship was not apprenticeship the source of the anointing was the father the father anointed Jesus for a purpose and when he was anointed Jesus became Jesus of Nazareth became Jesus the Christ I still here are we together so we need to comprehend that and not only was he anointed Bible says when the anointing came upon Jesus and he became the Christ he said he went about he went everywhere he was not just in an exclusive club just attending to a few people in his house he went that is why he is the apostle apostle comes from the Greek term the sent one sent by God so the one that went about by the anointing did not sit in a little corner he went into synagogues he went into cities he went to seasides he went by the well well side to minister to the woman of samaria and to the woman of samaria the whole city of samaria jesus went about everywhere he went to cities if he was here in our generation he will go to campuses he went to villages he went to cities he went to synagogues he went to seasides he went to countrysides he engaged people in conversations for the kingdom even along the way like the two disciples on the way to your mouth so you will see here as the as the anointed one of god when the anointing came upon him he went everywhere the bible says doing good he did not use the anointing on his life to condemn people he did not use the anointing on his life to be cursing people the, to show that the proof that i'm a powerful man you know some of us christians we only are able to show that we are powerful when we're able to curse people the only thing Jesus caused was not a human being but a tree a tree that was deceptive in features Jesus did not cause anyone Jesus did not destroy destinies with the anointing he carried he used the anointing to leverage people to help people to do good he went everywhere you want to be anointed get ready to understand to comprehend to learn from Jesus as the anointed one he went with it he did good with it the Bible says he was healing all who are oppressed people under diseases people under the power of plagues people under the power of sin people under the power of sicknesses he said healing all who are oppressed of the devil because God was with him if you will recognize if you will come to the revelation of Christ as the anointed one, it helps you to show how to engage the anointing, what to use the anointing to do. Don't use the anointing to develop for yourself an exclusive club, an exclusive community. No, use the anointing to go about. Use the anointing to help people. God has anointed you for what? You read the anointing on Jesus. Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1 to verse 3 which he quoted in, Isaiah, in Luke chapter 4. He said the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to. He has sent me to. And you will see in every case he brought transformation. Broken hearted transformation. Those in prison transformation. Those who are blind transformation. The poor 
Oh, transformation. Somebody shout transformation. So listen, when you desire the anointing, you pay the price for the anointing, learn from Jesus the anointed one. He used the anointing to help, to deliver, to liberate, to leverage people, not to put people down, but to raise people up. On a third and last level tonight, because like I said, I'd like to pray for some categories of people. On a third level, as we comprehend the revelation of Christ, we need to pay the price. Whatever you need to do, if you need to pray, pray. If you need to fast, fast. If you need to study like never before, study. 10 chapters a day, 15 chapters a day. When I was just about the age of many of us here in my early teens as a young Christian, I paid great prizes. Three months, I finished the Bible. The Bible is just 1,189 chapters. If you read in about 10 chapters, in a day, in about three months, you will finish the whole Bible. Be hungry for righteousness. Be hungry for the word of God. Pay the price. Don't just be an onlooker. Don't be satisfied to see other people moving and you are receiving. God wants us. He said it is more blessed to give, to give, to give, to give wisdom, to give character, to give power. It is more blessed to give than to receive. On a last level here tonight, I like to challenge us on the revelation of Christ. As Lord, the revelation of Christ as Lord. Majority of today's generation, we relate to Jesus only on a segment of his revelation as the Christ. We relate to the dimension of Jesus as Savior. And if you remain only on that level of revelation of Christ, only as Savior, you are likely to stay at the lowest rung of the ladder that leads to greater glories in the kingdom of God. If you stay only at that level where you recognize Jesus as Savior, Savior from Satan, Savior from sin, Savior from the consequences of sin, you will stay at the lowest level. Those who remain at that level, they easily stumble into sin. They easily compromise. They easily vacillate between out move to the greater things move to the higher things of kingdom don't just be satisfied but majority of this generation we only want to relate to jesus we only stay at the level of the revelation of jesus as savior so you see many believers at infancy many believers remaining babies many believers remaining as infants god wants you like a land group in his letter to the hebrews he said we need to leave the elementary things and move on to perfection. It's like moving from the lowest rung of the ladder and move to the higher rungs, higher echelons of the ladder in the kingdom of God. I want to challenge someone in here in case you have only related to Jesus as Savior. There is more. Tap someone closer and say there is more. Tap another person and say there is more. There is more for you in the kingdom. There is more for you in Christ. There is more for you in the son of God. There is more for you in the apostle. There is more for you in the shepherd. There is more for you in the soon coming king. There is more for you in the anointed one of God. There is more for you in the son of the living God. There is more. And I'd like to challenge us on the importance of comprehending and relating to Jesus as Lord. You, you see the pattern of his life in Philippians chapter 2 when you read from verse 5 but because of time I will not read from verse 5 he said let this mind in verse 5 he said let this mind be in you let this mind or mentality or attitude be in you as it was in Christ though in the class of God he did not count it something to be struggled for he did not count it something to be contended for to be equal with God but he made himself by personal choice made himself of no reputation humbled himself took the form of a servant humbled himself even to the death of the cross and then you read from verse 9 he says for this cause god also had highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name that at the name of jesus in the name of jesus also means in the authority of jesus in the name of jesus also means in the integrity of jesus Jesus never fails. Jesus is constant in the integrity of Jesus. In the power of Jesus. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, and things on the earth. 
he said and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father when we talk about Jesus as Lord we are talking about his also Lord is master when we talk about the Lordship of Jesus Lord is master Lord is the one who has the final say within the terrain of his Lordship is Jesus your master and we will say some things that we check our level and check if really beyond words in deed and in truth Jesus is Lord over us Jesus as Lord wants to be enthroned in his house wants to be enthroned in his kingdom he wants to have the final say in the thoughts we process in the deeds of our life in the relationships we engage in in every aspect of our lives he wants to be able to tell you things that have finality about your obedience to it many of us many at times we don't like the things Jesus said let me give you an example of my life I've been married now for this year makes 28 years and so in this period we've had some highs and lows in my marriage especially in the first two years of my marriage I was already a pastor before I got married and so after like two years of my marriage I told God I'm not able to preach many things I know because I don't like to be a hypocrite I'm not able to preach many things I know because I'm not able to practice them in my home so I said my preaching content my preaching list is diminishing by the day because what I cannot practice in my home I cannot come and preach to people to do I don't want to be a hypocrite who says do as I teach and not as I do so I tell God my wife is not allowing me the way she's conducting herself is making me difficult the way certain things are not working out well in my marriage I am finding it difficult to preach certain things in public and on the pulpit of the local church where I was set as a leader and when God responded God said you are the problem <laughs> I said God is it because she's your daughter then she responded but you too you're my son he said you are the problem I said how manage I came to report your daughter to you you are pointing accusing figures at me he said but you are the problem you studied engineering you understand scientific language he said computer what you put into the computer is what you get out of the computer whatever you impute becomes also eventually your output if you don't like your output change your input i didn't like that counsel at all in fact i regretted going to meet god to talk about my wife but the lord had spoken he had i thought things would go this way my conversation with god but god started moving in an entirely different direction but i knew the lord i knew he was the one who had spoken and I knew his word was real. Now it was my choice. Will I remain as the product of his salvation, Jesus my savior, or will I come under his authority as Lord? I reluctantly chose his lordship. I didn't like that counsel, but that counsel is to extend his lordship into my marriage, to extend his lordship into my relationship with my spouse. And the amazing thing within one week maximum two weeks things are not seen in my wife things are not noticed in my wife in two years i started noticing in two weeks i used to think oh this is my wife i just a saw girl coming from a very high class in the society elite, elite society oh she's not able to relate to certain rigors of pastoring in two weeks things just changed and it became a turning point to the progress we made these 28 years of our marriage. What am I saying to us here? I'm talking of Jesus as Lord. Is he Lord of your thoughts? Is he Lord of your choices? The finality you brought about the issues you want to do. The choice of who to marry. The choice of what to do with your life. The choice of what to do with your finances. The choice of what to allow in your thoughts. Are they under his lordship? Put another way. Are your thoughts subject to the lordship of Jesus? Are your thoughts subject to the authority of his word? Are your, is your conduct, are your actions under the authority of his lordship? He is lord to the extent to which you are willing to bow. You are willing to change your position. You are willing to change your direction. The moment you comprehend his will, 
many years ago God told me is he that Lord of all or he is not Lord at all I like to challenge us here as I close this church tonight and then we'll pray if you are going to excel if you are going to be able to bring things under the lordship of Jesus the lordship of Jesus is not just so that you are now submitted to him everything about your life will submit to his authority your thoughts will submit your finances will submit your destiny will submit your relationship will submit and you know the amazing thing where there are contrary forces satanic forces family limitations causes in oppression in your life the lordship of Jesus just be you choosing his lordship everything that violates his lordship in your life in your thoughts in your lifestyle in your actions everything that violates his lordship jesus will subdue them under his authority because you chose his lordship you know the meaning of that let me put it another way practically you have an ailment in your body and you don't like it and you are pleading jesus take this thing away i'm asking the question have you submitted your life to the authority of the lordship the moment you submit totally spirit soul and body to the authority of jesus it will amaze you that forces contrary to god forces contrary in your life that you don't like yourself because you are limited he is unlimited he will deal with those forces in your life the bible says though we walk in the flesh the weapons of our warfare they are not canal but they are mighty through god to the pulling down strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god he says bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of christ and you know what in verse 6 second Corinthians chapter 10 i'm, I'm quoting from verse 3 in verse 6 he said god is in a readiness to avenge you of all disobedience when your obedience is complete you want to fight tools that are greater than your capacity you want to prevail in the battles of life you have seen family patterns of course he's working your family members come under the lordship not just the salvation of jesus come under the lordship and he will fight your battles for you have you these infirmities have you noticed these things have you noticed things that are contrary to god in your life if you willingly submit those unwilling forces will be dealt with by jesus themselves and i'd like to challenge us in here tonight make jesus lord of your life may you come to the revelation of jesus as lord may you come to the revelation of jesus as lord he is lord of all he is lord of all acts chapter 10 verse 36 he said jesus christ he is lord of all shall we rise to our feet tonight All right, stop it tonight. I'm going to pray for some people, but before I pray for some people, the presence of the Lord and the power of the Lord is already present in this place. But before I pray for some people, I'd like you to pray for yourself. Do these words make any meaning to you? Do they make sense to you? Is Jesus, Son of God, in your life? Is an example of how to live and how to relate to the Father? Is Jesus the Christ? revealed to you it's an example of how you can connect with the anointing it's an example of true source of the anointing men may lay hands on us pastors may lay hands on us guest ministers may lay hands on us but it is god who keeps the anointing and that anointing must be used the way jesus used anointing i'd like you to pray for yourself tonight that god will that jesus will reveal himself in you not just to you like a picture but he will reveal himself. You will see that in Galatians chapter 1. Paul writing about his encounter with Jesus. On the, I mean on the way to Damascus. He said but when it pleased God to reveal his son in. Reveal his son in. Lift up your voice to now and begin to pray for yourself. Oh God. You are my father. Reveal the son in me. As your son. As the Christ, as the oncoming King, as the Savior, as the suffering, and as the suffering Redeemer, and most of all, reveal your Son Jesus in me as Savior. Lift up your voice and pray for yourself. Power of God and the presence of God is.
is already in this place. Pray for yourself. Pray passionately. Pray like a hungry person. Pray passionately. Friends, pray, 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 pray. Press into God. Press into the channel of God. Press into the rivers of God. Press into the rivers of the Spirit. Pray in the Holy Ghost if you can. And pray for the revelation of Christ. Pray for the revelation of Christ. Pray for the revelation of Christ. It's going to affect your your academics affect your relationships affect your destiny affect your future affect your calling and your ministry pray for the revelation of christ levels in your son you believes in me out of his belly shall flow 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 rivers of living water this is said signifying the spirit that those who believe in jesus should receive the presence of the lord is in this place yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord let your power flow let your power flow let your power flow let your power flow Cause rivers to break forth out of your sons and daughters. Cause rivers to break forth. 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 Out of flesh. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. 
Yes, Lord. Cause rivers to break forth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want to pray for some categories of people. I'll make some altar calls if this applies to you. You may feel free to come before this platform. I want to pray for people who are hungry for more of God in their lives. Great mighty rivers want to break out of your life. But you don't know what to turn to. You don't know where to turn. He said to him who believes in me. John chapter 7. From verse 37 to verse 39. Out of his belly or out of his spirit man. Shall flow rivers of living water. There are people hungry for more of God in this place. You want more of God. You want to be able to find your way by God. You want to be able to pilot your affairs by God. You want the rivers of God to order your steps. Direct your life. You are hungry for an impartation and an Im Jesus if you are such a person in this gathering I'd like you to step up before this stage I'd like to pray for also people right now i like the worship to be gentle and solemn you are trusting God for greater works he said the works that I do ye shall do also greater works than this ye shall do because I go to the father you are hungry for more. You are thirsty for more. You are longing for more. God desires. God wants to raise mighty vessels. Vessels in business. Vessels in ministry. Vessels in family. Vessels in destiny. You are trusting God for more. Of God in your life. I'd like you to step forward. For an impartation. Of the revelation of Jesus. And an implanting. An implanting. An indwelling. Revelation of Jesus yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes I take up a shake a turn the carosa prali at him show pragged as you are before this stage I like you to cry out to God God is the giver of grace God is the one who anointed Jesus God is the one who imparted Jesus and Jesus went about doing good trust God for a release to you tonight your portion of the inheritance the inheritance of the saints in the land thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Out of this gathering, I see people, I mean, taking up strength. Listen carefully. I like the music to play softly. The instrument softly. No background voice. Out of this gathering, I see God raising pillars, people of strength, strength beyond the natural. You may demonstrate it in academics, but it will not be rooted in scholarship. You may demonstrate it in business, but it will not be rooted in traditional skills. I see God raising out of this gathering pillars, pillars. God wants to build a mighty house, a universal house, and He wants to stretch His pillar all over this campus, all over this city, all over this nation. And out of this gathering tonight, not just people before this altar, but also people see, I mean, it, it's still in the congregation, people up on the platform. God wants to pillars, carriers of strength, putting errors things of the kingdom, in financial burdens, bearing scholarly burdens, bearing wisdom burdens. God is raising pillars. Lord, let your wind blow in this place. In the same way you imparted the dry bones in the valley of dry bones, Ezekiel 37. Your wind blew upon them and raised up a formidable unit. Your wind blew again into them and raised a mighty army. 
your wind blew upon your wind blew into lord in this gathering let your wind blow right now <laughs> cause a shaking cause a shaking cause a righteous noise cause a shaking right now 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 all over this gathering yes let your wind blow <laughs> let your wind blow upon your vessels yet choose for yourself the pillars you are raising in this hour in this for this generation yes lord wind blow. let your wind blow let your wind blow let your wind blow right now right right now right now right now right now yes lord masakaya yeka tosi mera kaposki merus kelimatesia yes lord let the river flow let the river flow let it break forth let it order your steps order your life henceforth let the river flow yes lord receive freshness right now let it break forth from within you a new you a new you arising imagine out of this old you receive right now let it flow come on take it it's yours right now come on take it right now let the power of god break forth let the rivers break forth let the rivers break forth emergence oh yes emergence of a new you you are rising in stature rising in strength rising in divine capacity receive right now come on it's yours in the name of jesus take your place you will no longer be timid you will no longer walk in the back sides you, the, this grace pushes you to the front lines take it right now in the name of jesus yes lord kapashi ak they say mayako cinema kondali elikato sapora kasata gahaya yes lord receive right now the power flow in the name of jesus let the power flow right now take it take it yes lord hey yes lord hey a vessel unto honor you are a vessel unto honor you are that which you which comes from within you begins to shine forth begins to shine for a vessel unto honor you are take it right now in the name of jesus yes let the power flow right now take it right now yes. receive right now receive the power of god let the power flow in the name of jesus yes. let the power flow yes let the lord raise the stand the lord is raising the bar in your life no longer settling for little portions little levels the lord is raising the bar in your life says the spirit of the lord the lord is raising the bar you feel you lack capacity but the lord is giving you capacity take it right now take it now let the capacity flow the lord is raising the bar over your life <laughs> the bar take it right now let it flow right now come on in the name of Jesus. Yes, receive power. Receive power for a new you. A new baptism. A new you. A new day. Let it rise. Let it rise. Your speech will be influenced by the Lord henceforth. Hey, your choices will let it rise. The presence of the Lord like a river rising in water levels. It's come on right now. Receive it right now. It's yours. It's yours. Take it. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. You imagine, haha, <laughs> take it right now. Mashika, meka soto blai gete mashanda rakatarima, meto shikatande ke raka soto blai gete shikatande ke shando ritatma. Yeah, receive the power of right now. Let the power flow. Yes, Lord, receive the power. Let the power flow right now. New seasons here. New season over your life, brother. Receive grace right now. Yes. Grace right now. Name of Jesus.
all over this place all over these front lines let presence of the lord break forth receive right now receive right now receive the fire receive baptism receive the fire receive the fire let the wind blow spread the fire all over this place we speak right now let the power of god break forth all over this gathering right now receive baptism receive power receive fire receive fresh fire in the name of jesus come on take it right now Take it. Hey. You gain in stature supernaturally. Your hunger for the Lord is stirred up. You gain in stature supernaturally, phenomenally, with great strides. Take it right now. Aye, Shaga Mahati. Come on. Take it right now. Receive. Let the power flow. Yes. Receive. Let the power hey, come on right now in the name of Jesus. Atesha Mikut Mashekandor Kasantolin Regede Ela Maye Kando Sapayeta E Kataboro Katalima Shege Kekede Le Gracia Rakatalima Matodos Kalaba Shandeli Rakasatolin Regede Yami. Please, if I prayed for you, I've laid hands on you. You may step back to your chairs so that I'll know the other people remaining. I need to pray for people. Up here. Receive freshness, fresh oil, fresh rivers right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive right now. Let the power break forth. Streams out of your desert. Streams out of your desert right now. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Streams out of your desert right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Take it. Let the power flow. Let the power flow. Let the power flow. Let the power flow, the power flow. The power flow. right now. In the name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it. New portions. Hey, you receive divine manna for strength in the days to come. You receive divine manna, divine manna for strength in the days to come. Take it right now. Strength for your journey. Strength for your journey. Take it right now. Aye, shake a barosso to play. Take it, barosso to pralia. Aye, shake a padosso paya. Come on, take it. Come on, take it. Hey, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive, receive of the Lord, receive of the Lord, receive of the Lord, receive of the Lord, receive of the Lord. Receive of the law. Receive of the law. Receive of the law. Receive of the law. In the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Masheka baroso plai. Ketema ma koraso praliati. Shatema koparatos. Embragadoska. Shante Kaya Mayesha Kaparosia. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your power flow. All of people. Hungry for your presence. 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 Let your power flow. Let your power flow. Let your power flow. 
hungry for your presence the revelation of Jesus the revelation of Jesus revelation of Jesus
Say I receive my inheritance. It has always been mine. But today. I take it. I take delivery. I take possession. Come up. Right now. Let it flow. It's yours. No more limitations. Middle wall of partition. It's yours. Your inheritance in Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you. See grace right now. Let the power of God flow into your life. Yes, Lord. And reveal Christ in you. Yes, Lord. Let the power of God flow into your life. And reveal Christ. Son of the living God. Soon coming King. The Messiah. Reveal his Lordship in the name of Jesus. Receive right now. Yes, Lord. Let the into your life. Recesses your spirit. You will no longer be marginalized. You will no longer be set aside. You will no longer feel unwanted. You will feel the demands of heaven on your life. Hence, the pulse of heaven cascades through your being right now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive right now. Receive right now. Receive right now. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Receive. Let the power go flow into your life. Let the power go flow into your life. Yes, Lord. Receive the power of God right now. It's yours. It's your inheritance. It's your portion. Yes, Lord. May Christ be revealed in you from tonight like never before. Hung after. You will pay great prices for more of God. And the grace of God will give you up. The grace of God will support you. Receive grace. Receive revelation of Christ. Now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Receive right now. It's yours. It's yours. There was a little girl here, a young girl. Where is she? I know I've not prayed for her. If she's still around, you can come. Receive grace right now. Come on! Receive. It's yours. No more timidity. No more fear. <laughs> hey, the spirit of the Lord is a spirit of boldness. Receive right now. Boldness for your destiny. Boldness for your allocation. Boldness to take a lot of portion. Receive right now. Receive right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We have come to draw. Yes, Lord, let the power of God flow to your life like never before. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let the power of God fill you up. Let the power of God turn you loose. Let the power of God shake the foundations of your life. Everything shakable is shaking right now. That the things that cannot be shaken might remain. Receive right now. Receive right now. Receive right now. Draw, draw, draw from you 
wherever you are seated standing you know you need this prayer to take authority over for this limiting your life causes diseases infirmities negative family so that they don't continue your own life i'd like you to pray and surrender your heart to the lordship of jesus surrender your soul to the lordship of jesus surrender your body to the lordship of jesus he said know you not that your body is the temple of the living god whatsoever defies this temple shall be destroyed that's the promise of god wherever you are for the next one minute take that prayer for yourself you want to be free from curses free from diseases free from infirmities free from the works of the flesh free free of son free delivered from masturbation delivered from satanic habits pornography and all sort of negative vices that put the yoke of the enemy on your life. He said it shall come to pass in this day. The body shall be lifted up your shoulders. And the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of the anointing. Surrender yourself. Surrender yourself to the Lordship of Jesus. Your thoughts, your life, your relationship, your body, your destiny. and so shall it be in Jesus name Lord I thank you for the you have conferred on, on me I have not come here in my name I am sent you sent me you gave me a commission with the commission you give grace and so I stand according to the election of grace on my life here tonight. Before this company of saints. 
from diverse walks of life. I come as one sent and another to take authority in this place. They have surrendered their lives, surrendered their hearts, surrendered their thoughts, not just to your saving grace, but also to your lordship. And so tonight, pray, wherever you are, under the power of my voice, because within my voice, you hear his voice. <laughs> within my declarations, you hear the Lord's decree over your life. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is, he said at the name of Jesus, in the authority of Jesus, in the power of Jesus, he said every knee should bow. Things in heaven, demonic forces in the heavenly places, of things on earth, limitations of darkness, family, negative cycles, negative yokes, negative patterns, of things beneath the earth, forces, powers let loose from the walking against your lot walking against your well-being and progress i take authority right now in this gathering as many as are suffering from one malady of life or the other negative patterns satanic yokes negative patterns negative cycles i take authority right now and i pray let the power of god move all over this place break chains of darkness chains of infirmities chains of in diseases let the music come down please break chains of diseases break chains of infirmities break chains of sicknesses limiting forces people working so hard in righteousness and not seeing the exalting power of righteousness those chains can right now those chains are broken right now those chains are broken right now chains chains diseases chains of infirmities i speak to you in the name of the lord jesus your power is broken your influence is terminated right now right now right now right now in the name of Jesus. Let the strength of the Lord come upon these vessels, O oh God. In their health, in their minds, in the areas where they have known captivity, let them find freedom. In the areas where they negative patterns, things prevailing over members who are not born again, so prevailing their life, even though they are children of God, we put an end to such patterns. We put an end to such forces. A new you. A blessed you. A lifted you. An anointed you. Under the Lordship of Jesus. Breaks forth from this meeting, this conference tonight. In the name of Jesus. May you walk in the newness of life. <laughs> yes. Yes. May you walk in the newness of life. May you walk in realms that have only been imagined in your environment, imagined in your family. May you walk in strength. May you walk in wealth. May you walk in favor. May you walk in holiness. In the name of Jesus, we decree it, Lord. And let there be confirmations of this decree from tonight in the lives of these people. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for answers to prayers. Because we are prayed in Jesus' name. One more prayer. Please, you may be seated. One more prayer. I'd like to pray for the executives of this fellowship. If you don't mind. You are a member of the executive. I'd like you to step forward. I'd like to pray for you. Executives of this fellowship. I'd like to deposit something into you before I take my leave from this city. I'd like you to step forward. The Lord has need of you don't be timid don't be afraid don't look at your age he said be an example of the believer let no man despise your youth be an example of the believer let no man despise your youth when joseph entered potiphar's house he was one of the youngest servants he became leader when potiphar entered uh, the, the, the the guard house the prison he was among the youngest he became leader 
when Joseph entered Pharaoh's court, he was among the youngest at the age of 30. He became leader. It is not by age, it is by grace. It is according to the election of grace. I'd like you to believe God as you stand before this stage, this platform. I'd like you to believe God that there will be a deposit, an impartation that will make you strong, make you established, propel you in the line of destiny, divine destiny. Get ready. Pray for yourself. Lord, I thirst for you. Lord, I thirst for you. Lord, I thirst for you. Pray for yourself that there will be a deposit of heaven. As a result of this conference, a deposit of heaven. Lord, I thirst for you. Lord, I thirst for you. Receive right now. Come on. Sheka, Samet, Nahi, Rase, Etisha, Yisha. Yesha. Receive right now. Come on. Receive right now. Receive right now. A new you is leaving this conference. A new level. New realms of authority and capacity. Belly in your age. Belly in your years. Receive right now. Eratopina. Eyaina kosa. Arata koshi. Receive right now. Come on. Take it. Ah. Azika <laughs> Takumayeshi. Receive. Let it let, let it rise from your feet your knees to your torso let it rise take it I shake her take it right now take it it's your portion the Lord has been looking for you the Lord is searching you out the Lord is pouring fresh waters upon your life refreshing water springs of life he's looking for you putting you in a new place putting you in a new season come take it receive right now yes come on receive right now etekashi pokoshana la bahata ezema na 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 orote kapashi engria bayete let it flow, let it flow. Yes, receive. I yede koshina kundor katali ma. Isinanda chila kandor katali. Limbra. Receive right now. Ado cheka patena. Orako pangri ali bragdiata. Yes, feed of this manna, daughter of Zion. Feed of this manna. Feed of this divine manna. Feed of life. Feed of the word of God. The journey ahead of you is great, but it is glorious. Great journey. Glorious journey. Take it right. See in the name of Jesus. Receive right now. Let the power of God flow. right now in of Jesus receive right now receive right now in the name of Jesus take it yes take it refreshing rivers it refreshes your life it refreshes it refreshes it's that a reset a reset divine reset over your life a reset you see things in a new way you see the word of god in a new light come on take it it's yours right now yes lord yes lord yes lord let the power go flow here 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 receive right now catch right now give the power of god now receive right now yes lord 
Receive the power of God right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the power of God right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the power of God right now. In the name of Jesus. Receive the power of God right now. Hey. Deep calling to the deep at the noise of the waterfalls. Deep calling to the deep at the noise of the waterfalls. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yes. Take it. Take it till you want no more. Receive right now. Hey. Come on. Receive right now. In the name of Jesus. Come Yenate korosi la pati, ripati kashiga kondo rekatara ba shatea. Oh, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Receive right now, let it flow. In the name of Jesus, yes, receive right now, let it flow. Mount up with wings. Your wings are fixed. Mount up with wings as eagles. No force of this life stops your flight. No force of this life stops your flight. Mount up with wings as eagles. You saw. Come on. Receive right now. Receive right now. Receive right now. It's yours. Receive right now. It's yours. Take it. It's yours. It's yours. In the name of Jesus, my shekabo satalahata, aragadosali, ye peki shana to labakai, o sato braliata, a little one among you shall become a thousand, a small one shall become a strong and formidable nation. Receive your lot, a little one shall be a strong nation, become a thousand. A small one shall become a strong nation. Receive your lot right now. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Take it. In the name of Jesus. Take it right now. Yes. Take it right now. Take it right now. Let your ears be unplugged. You hear into the realm of the spirit.
spirit here. There are people God is calling into prophetic revelation, prophetic ministry, prophetic utterance, prophetic visions, prophetic power, prophetic accuracy. If this resonates with you, I'd like you to step forward here quickly. I'd like to pray for those people before I take my seat, before I step away. I release a measure to you to order your steps henceforth to sharpen the graces of God on your life henceforth you will speak with authority you will speak as of an oracle of God new seasons new realms of authority you will be a pillar for our God on this campus take it to come out one lady white and black yeah, that light skin and there was another lady I, I can't recollect how she looks like thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus you give directly as you will we are only channels you give severally as you will no man takes this honor himself but he that is called of God and I pray this the Nabai dimension of utterance Bubbling utterance with authority and accuracy. Hey, there are dimensions and in similitudes of visions and dreams. The causa dimension of open visions. You you stand in the natural and yet into the realm of the spirit. Let it be activated in this company. Let it be activated in this company. Hearing beyond the natural. Hearing the inaudible in order to do the impossible seeing the invisible hearing the inaudible that you may begin to do the impossible yes lord lord let grace flow in this in this amongst this company let grace flow yes lord place your seal place your sharpness place your precision on this company in the right now yes receive right now yes as the lord has allocated i yield as a vessel a channel receive right now in the name of jesus receive right in the name of jesus receive right now receive receive right now in the name of jesus receive right now a quickening an activation yes a sharpening a sharpening a propelling influence that you cannot contain you cannot resist Receive right now. Okay. Yes, Lord. Take it. Aye, shamina kosa taha. Aye, te roska rete kashi. Aye, basa ishage. Come on, receive. Receive him. Come here. Come now. This thing we push you out that that which cannot be shaken may be retained. Let that that power flow. Yes, you hear the inaudible. It's It's your inheritance. It's your inheritance. You are not looking for it, but the one who made you apportioned it for you. Receive it right now. Hear the inaudible and do the impossible henceforth in the name of Jesus. Receive. 
receive. That I shall behold him, but not now. I shall see him, but not now. That I shall arise out of Judah. I Yours. It's you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive right now. Receive in the name right now. In the name of Jesus. It's yours. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive right now in Jesus. If you want to give your heart to Jesus, He is the way, the truth, and the life. I'd like you to step forward. Before I take my leave, you want to give your heart to Jesus. No, if I'm not praying for you, you are still here. I will pray for you. Don't worry. I'm just making the altar call. Why, why is that lady going? Why are those people going? Are you if you are supposed to be prayed for, just wait here. Don't worry yourself. You want to to Jesus, you want to be step forward. It has a plan for you. Pick up that stronger than what you have for yourself or what your parents have in mind for you. Your heart to Jesus. Please step forward, step forward, step forward, step forward, step forward. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let your power flow here. Yes, Lord. Let your power flow here. Every form of skepticism, its power is broken. Every form of skepticism, its power is broken. Hey. May every limiting influence turn you loose that you may follow your maker. Follow the guide of the Lord and walk in authority. Come on, receive right now. Receive right now. In the name of Jesus, receive right now. Receive right now. Let the power of God come upon your life. Receive right now. It's God's mighty It's God's you will never be the same. It's yours. Let there be a breaking forth from tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. It's work. It's work. In the name of Jesus. Your life to Jesus, giving your heart to Jesus. Please step forward. I like to pray for you. Step forward. I like to pray for you. Kadesha kama sata laba shata laba sheta laba hai. Raza tali pete ma shanda laba soto plaini. Raza zaki parote gashega. You want to give your heart to Jesus for the last time? Stand to your feet and come to the front. Your life will never be the same. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't think of human opinion. Think of Jesus. Son of the living God. Jesus, the Messiah. Jesus, the Savior. Reason Savior. Jesus, the suffering Redeemer. Jesus, the soon coming King. Jesus, the Lord, the Lord. For the last time, any other person joining this company, you are turning your heart to Jesus. You are turning your heart to Jesus. Please step forward, step forward, step forward. Don't be ashamed, don't be afraid. Don't procrastinate, don't postpone. Thank you, Jesus.
please. There are someone to counsel her. All right. Beautiful. Shall we rise to our feet and just bless the name of the Lord for this atmosphere tonight? Bless the Lord for what God is starting in this fellowship. Bless the Lord for what God is doing on this campus. Bless the Lord for His Lordship in your life, in my life, in our midst. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord.